All right, what up, bowlers and bullets? Bullets. Bullets. Bowlers and bullets, everyone out there watching the video, what's going on? Today we have a video where we have a short pattern out here. We have the PBA Wolf pattern. It is 32 feet in length. It is very short. We're going to throw some practice reps, talk about some strategies, how to bowl on it, what bowling balls, all that coming your way. Stay tuned. We have to tell you guys about Element. Okay, so Element fills a very large gap in the nutrition industry. It provides the best electrolytes that you can get. And I don't care if it's if you have two glasses of wine, if you're an active guy, if you're trying to be uh, an athlete, you need electrolytes. Now, why does this product stand out against other products? Well, this is just electrolytes. So if you look, it's got a full gram of sodium. It's also got potassium and magnesium. If you look at other electrolyte packets or drinks, they've got added sugar, they don't have all three of the electrolytes that work well together so your body can digest it, and they have some of the best flavors along with no sugar crash. So the first thing I do in the morning is I replenish my electrolytes with a full package of Element and then I head to the gym. At the end of my gym session, I do a 15 minute sauna session and then I do another full packet of Element. So before noon, I have two full packets of Element in just to make sure and I am not losing a single electrolyte. So Element is offering our viewers a free sample packet. That's eight free flavors. The best way to try all the flavors with any purchase. So make sure you hit the link in the description. It's drinkelement, D-R-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash Brad and Kyle. Go there, fill it out, and get a free reward. And remember friends, stay salty. All right guys, so we are, we're basically just gonna bolt. And I think Brad's gonna take over at the start, but we're gonna bowl, we're gonna let you guys watch us throw some shots down the lane. Talk about strategy, talk about balls, talk about what to do and what not to do. Well, we got two balls up here that I kinda wanna talk about. One is yours, one is mine. Okay. And I seem to be the only guy with urethane on the rack, so it looks like I'm the urethane guy. You're the video. urethane but guy. I will say, I mean, it gets thrown a lot nowadays. Anything like 39 feet, 38 feet, 37 and below, Generally, you're gonna see a lot of urethane go down the lane. And because when the pattern is that short, the number one thing you're looking for is control. Because the hard part of the pattern is the ball's gonna to wanna to hook too much. It's so short that when the ball gets basically halfway down the lane, lane 60 feet, this pattern is 32 feet. Most house shots are 39, 40, 41, 40, so 41 yeah. significantly shorter. And because of that, it makes it very hard to play the middle part of the lane you have to almost get farther away from the head pin, get your angles farther away from the head pin, closer to the gutter to combat the amount of hook that the pattern and lane is giving you. Now, urethane is probably the best ball for that. It you know, doesn't have much of a core and it's got a cover on it that likes to read early. And so you get that early read, that early roll, but then not an overall ton of hook because the core is not super strong. On the flip side, we have a ball called the gym. Now why, instead of urethane, would you throw a really, really strong ball? Probably the strongest ball on the market, yep. would you say? Yeah, I mean, I def would... definitely top two. <laughs> yeah, so why that? Um, well, we'll talk about it in depth a little bit more, but when people have a short pattern, the first tendency is, man, there's so much hook, I gotta get to my weakest ball. Well, we're gonna go more in theory about why that is not the case. This, where actually it's so strong, we wanna get that ball into a roll as quick as we can. So we wanna use one of the strongest balls we have, maybe manipulate our hand and our angles to try to simulate something similar to urethane because urethane actually hooks earlier than every other bowling ball. This is the earliest ball you can get and it's the smoothest. That's why we like it on the short patterns. Well, for this ball, it has such a strong cover, strong core, it wants to hook really early for a reactive ball. So we'll try to, at times, try to simulate urethane or just use it as another option. But at the end of the day, the ball's got to hook early. Yeah, and in general, the earlier the ball hooks, the less it will hook down lane. The longer the ball goes without hooking, the more energy it stores, the more it wants to jackknife a little bit at the end of the pattern. And sometimes that's okay if your angles are really steep, if you're bowling on longer patterns, whatever. But for short patterns, we need about as straight and controlled as possible. Yeah. These balls are so strong that they actually roll out and give you that strong shape. So it's, it's, a, it's a quite nice one-two punch between a urethane ball on 32 feet, and then if you can't get this to work, just try your strongest ball. And we're gonna try that right now. So some shots, baby. 
Come on. <laughs> and he leaves the four pin. The dreaded four pin. Not uh, not super easy. <laughs> a lot of obstacles here. <laughs> you got one place to play on. I got way. one place to play. All right, so a couple of the first shots we have here. I'm going to line up outside of 10 at the arrows. So it could be wherever you want. Some people are crazy and they get like two. And, and sometimes you could try that, but I'm gonna stay around like six, seven. I'm gonna get the break point down to like two, three. And then we're just gonna see, is the ball hooking from two, three? Is it uh, hooking too much? Is it not hooking enough? Back home. And we have a pretty good look early. Now that ball doesn't have much surface on it. And that's kind of one thing I wanted to mention is we mentioned the ball has to hook really early. And the earlier it hooks, the less it hooks down lane. So if you're struggling with finding a ball to get the right shape, right now my urethane's doing fine, but surface gets the ball to hook earlier, which also means less down lane. So if you see a lot of guys just smashing their urethanes with 500 pads, that's pretty extreme. This is just kind of a weak thousand. I would say majority of the people out there, you don't need a ton of surface, but a, a urethane ball, and an Iberlon pad go well together. The, the cover stocks take surface very well, and it just goes along with the idea of a urethane ball. <laughs> this is a hard lane ball. <laughs> I'm really sad I don't have urethane right now. Yeah, urethane looks good. Urethane does look good. I'm trying. Trying to be over here being a good bowler with reactive, and it's just, it's not what you should really be doing on a short pad. <laughs> yeah. I mean, as you can see on that shot, though, because it's not, with your thing, you could generate a little more rev. It's not going to jump offline as much. That one, you produce a little bit more speed to try yeah. and combat, but it looked perfect. Right? I mean, that was perfect. Through yeah, the pins. Good. Now, if we were to throw like a weak ball, a hustle ball, that exact same way, it's probably never gonna hook, right? No. Nah. And let me even try this like phase four. Nice, right so we got there. a phase four. And this is like a shiny, uh, symmetrical bone ball. Not something I'm really gonna use anywhere near the fresh and transition. Probably ever on this show. I would never pattern. see a professional throw that ball in the first three to four games on a really yeah. short. No way. Look how much, all right, yeah, look at that. Okay, so this ball is the Mac Daddy hook in the entire world. And it hooks so much that it rolled out. That ball hooks less, and it actually provided more overall hook in terms of boards. And yeah. that's what we're not looking for. We're looking for the rollout. So that was a great example of like the gem rolling out, use, getting that roll early and using all that energy early, and you could see it would just go forward and shape up to the pocket. When that phase four got to the end of the pattern like we talk about, it went sideways. Now I wanna show you guys something. So strategy, Dennis, come out here. So we actually just ran a clinic and um, um, talked about lane play stuff. And so on a short pattern, when we go to oil the lane, it's 32 feet in length. So I'm not exactly sure where 32 feet is. <laughs> we can probably find it. When you're on any short pattern, outside here, down lane, about 32 feet, this is your bread and butter. This, the last five boards, one through five, one through, mainly one through five, and even five, that's your bread and butter. That's where you want to get to. So you see these little track marks here? This is your bread and butter. This is where you want to get it to. One, two, three, four, down lane over here. If you don't get your ball to that point, it's not, it's not going to, it's, it's not going to work. You can't play nine down the lane. It's got to get outside. Now, why are we playing so close to the gutter? Well, there's a lot of friction in the middle part of the lane. We'll show you this in the ball reaction, but if I try to hook it over to one, two, three, four boards and get my break point out there, 
two things are gonna happen. One, it's gonna hook before I can even get it over there. Or for two, I'm probably gonna shoot it. I'm trying to get it to the right so fast and so hard that I'm gonna shoot it into the gutter. So sometimes when the lanes get to a certain transition, after a lot of games in bold, you can start playing those angles, but almost always on the fresh on a short pattern, we gotta go up the gutter to an extent, either you're going up five or up three or up two, or you're playing nine to three, seven to three, a small angle, but never 20 to three on the fresh. I shouldn't say never, but most of the time never. So that kind of gives you an idea of where we're trying to get the ball on the lane. Let's see how many we can throw in a row, shall we? I don't know about in a row, but we'll try. <laughs> what a bad beat. It's a lot of hooks. see even then like try to create a little bigger angle to that gutter and try to like hit it more and hook it and it just it hooks way too much I got to be flatter with my hand less rotation and pretty up the lane now and sometimes we'll get on a short pattern for that'll work you know the two left hit a little harder and it'll work it'll be fine but if you see it do that it's not fine yeah gotta have more speed yeah I'm gonna move back right and just go up the lane a little bit and see how that's looking Oh, Jesus, what was that? The yank a doodle. That was, uh, my hand went this way instead of this way. It's gotta be this way. Yeah, that was way better. Let's try the absolute. The dead, pinned down absolute. That should be better. Yeah, I think it's going to be a little smoother. The asymmetry. Yep. Well, you know when you get five like that, the ball generally has too much angle going down lane. Yep. It did not roll early enough. Now, for me, I'm seeing on this right lane, your thing likes to, oh, well, there's a debate. Uh, it makes the lane feel a little slicker down the lane. Whether that's more hook up front or there's a little bit of carry down going on, I'm not a scientist, I don't know. But in terms of throwing the ball, it definitely makes the lane feel slicker down lane. And I've just thrown seven or eight shots with it. So I'm already feeling the need for a little bit of surface because it's going to help me eliminate that down lane miss that we're already seeing we can't have. The second this ball goes too far down the lane, I'm two pinning or I'm ringing a 10. And so what that tells me is it's got to roll just a touch earlier. You can either do that with your hand or you can do that with a bat. Oh, double bounce. Look at that. Perfect. It's exactly what you want. Exactly. Oh, no. Jesus. These are hard. That's why I'd be throwing your thing. Oh God, this is something I need to practice. Oh, uh, and that's, dude, that's why, like for me, being, having a little more revolutions, trying to throw reactive in that spot, I have to take so much hand out of it and so much less effort that it's why people throw your thing. Because with that your thing ball, I can still be aggressive with my hand and create the reaction we want to create. So that is something that I've always struggled with and I need to work on. Do you want to throw a shot over here to see? Yeah, let's see some transition. So his ball hooked a lot on this lane, but I threw a lot of urethane over here, probably 15, 20 shots. So we're going to see if the urethane has made this lane feel, it should make it feel a little bit tighter. Yeah, generally the idea, when we're, and we're one on short pattern with transition, is that as your thing goes down the lane on the fresh, it creates some carry down. Well, that carry down, on that's your friend on our short pattern because then we can get in some, some reactive balls generally and get some hold. Now, we'll see if there's enough shots, especially enough shots for me to feel like there's hold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, we can work with that. We can work with that. So over there, if I threw that, that, that was either gonna be dead flush or like a split on the left line. Through the face. All right, that is like music to my ears now because I have a little bit of hold going on. I don't have to necessarily go as much up the lane. I can move left, get the ball right, and the, the carry down from the urethane is just holding my ball up longer so it's not just jackknifing off the pattern. I know I rang 10, but I can hit the pocket now, it seems like. Oh, God. I did that many times over there through bad like that, and it's just five. That's ten. We like that. Now, what's it feel like over there for you? I could definitely tell there's a lot more hook in the front part of the lane. Yeah. Which is scary because if you miss that hook with a urethane ball, it's not going to hook back. So he had a problem with the reactive ball, just not underhooking, it was overhooking every time. The urethane ball will still underhook, even on really dry lanes. Yeah. So the dryness of this lane makes me want to kind of move into it left, but I have a urethane ball that's harder to get the hook. Yeah. So I'm actually thinking about moving right and using more speed like you were, but just with a more proper ball probably. So that looks like Still. It, that just hooked early. Yeah. So now you probably you probably had to shape it and hit it a little bit harder Have with to. that. Like, that's usually the move with that ball. This is not a short pattern anymore. This is the China. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Yeah, so there's this hook. So exhibit A, your thing when people are throwing it, especially on these short patterns, is your friend. You saw me just struggle my butt off on that lane and now I come over here and I've hit six down lane, I've hit two down lane and they're all getting to the pocket. So one more. China. There it is. I like right. Bradley. So what, what's my move? What's your move? I went high, playing straight. I went high, moving left. Where were you? So I was You're right here. here. You're here. And then I went to right here. Now we're going to go like 10 to 3, 11 to 3. 11 to 3. And clobber on it. Clobber on it. All right. And why are we clobbering on it? Because we can't miss down lane, right? Yeah, we still need that ball to hook early, and we're creating more angle with your thing, yep. which generally just means you need more reps. Mmm. That was close. That was good. Well, there you have it, guys. Wolf, uh, let us know in the comments if you like this video. Again, um, we can ball on all kinds of stuff. We can ball on all kinds of stuff that you guys want to see. So that was just a little talk about strategy, bowling balls. We kind of covered a lot in that video. That so. was that actually is perfect. That was good. So let us know if you have any questions. Again, we got a membership. We got a deal in the description. If you guys are interested in learning more about stuff like this, let us know. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Yep. See you guys.